Hello dudes, Axel here. So I've been promising this for a little bit. I looked at the wrong camera because I have my webcam plugged back in for streams and stuff because I can't use my DSLR for that because it doesn't stay in its live view thing long enough so I don't get HDMI about that long. Anyway, I've been promising this for a little while now. Uh, technically, I guess I promised it since the first build video because I was like, I will continue with build update stuff ever or after going forward from there. Anyway, it's going to be a quick little one. Um, I have done some updates to my build uh so one thing that leads into another kind of major change so to recap previously i was running the um well still am running the same cpu same ram all that good stuff it's the ryzen 7 1700 with 16 gigabytes of ram at 2400 megahertz because it was on sale it's the only reason i'm running kind of lower speed memory still might try overclocking it sometime but i kind of want to wait till i get things more finalized and go towards the better cooling and stuff, but we'll get to that later. For now, it's been working perfectly fine anyway. Anyway, um, it's the most recent major upgrade, before I talk about the other major change, is I got myself an NVMe SSD finally. It's a Samsung 960 EVO 250 gigabytes. I would have put that in focus, but then I'd have to refocus on my face afterwards. Don't mind me. You could, you could probably, it looked like it was readable just fine. Anyway, got this thing. It is in. I did a fresh installation of Solus. Uh, let me turn this on to screen cap real quick. So I did a fresh installation of Solus as well, and things are running perfectly fine. Um, I am still running. Or well, I guess I shouldn't say still running. Currently, now running the um, KDE Plasma desktop, which is not officially supported on Solus just yet, but it's basically completely usable at this point, so, you know, works totally fine. Um, I did mention in a previous video the uh, early look at Plasma on Solus. I was having some issues, but I figured those out. It was one of which is due to error on my part by not realizing I had to remove a certain um, package for, uh, it was a thing with the file browser, because normally you're supposed to be able to like single click to go into things, like let's say Axelbot. I can single click to go into those, because that's how uh, Plasma's default behavior is. You're supposed to be able to do that, along with uh, like the theming down here being a little off, but that was because I had this um, thing installed called Cute Style Plugins, which is supposed to make um, cute applications like KDE stuff fit better into a GTK-based desktop like GNOME. And that's installed by default, which makes sense because the default desktops that are currently officially available are all GTK based. So it, it, it made sense that that was installed by default and that I would have to remove that. So that problem is solved, fortunately. Um, another I was having was with OBS, where like for some reason, like 90% of the time that I tried opening it, my screen would just go black except and I would only have my cursor visible. And I don't know exactly what fixed that because there's a number of other things that changed between that and the new fresh install on my fancy new NVMe SSD. So we're going to go into that now. Um, the biggest change is I am no longer running my 980 Ti. Now, I was previously running that for quite some time. Um, especially even after I got the replacement for it, which again, we'll go into in just a second because I like teasing you guys. Um, main reason was because, uh, well, first off, I will say the replacement card is an AMD card. Now, the reason I was sticking with my, 9, my 980 Ti for a while, even after getting that, was because um, biggest reason was DaVinci Resolve. Because to run DaVinci Resolve on Linux at this time, you kind of need the AMD GPU Pro drivers. Those are not available on Solus because AMD doesn't allow them to be distributed for some reason, which they really should. I mean, come on, spread the love. But they probably don't care either because stupid legal team stuff or because they're putting so much more effort into the open source drivers. Either way, that issue should be resolved eventually. Ha. Um, anyway, that's reason one. Uh, well, that's the main reason. Now with NVIDIA, like their drivers, they give you proper. It, it, it's down to OpenCL is what is what it really comes down to. But like obviously with Nvidia, you have CUDA instead anyway. But either way, like CUDA on Nvidia cards, like that that just works just fine with Resolve anyway. With AMD, you need the Pro drivers. OpenCL stuff is not quite there on on the AMD cards, so I can't really use it with Resolve. Um, now technically, Lightworks does still work, but. 
considering most of my previous Lightworks experiences have been passable to subpar, although admittedly that was mostly because I was using like not exactly optimized media for rendering, so to be fair, I should give it another try. But another change at this time is with the new installation, I am running only Solus now. Not running anything else, just Solus. No Ubuntu or anything, and I kind of want to keep it that way. So, I don't know. I might still um, do those Lightworks tests I was talking about sometime in the future, but honestly, it's not particularly interesting to me at this time. So, I don't know. I, maybe. We'll see. But I kind of just want to keep the one operating system installed, because, I mean, that's really how you should have things anyway. Dual booting is an option, but keeping one OS is probably better in the long run anyway. So, anyway... That all being said, um, despite my desire to use DaVinci Resolve, there are still the issues with it. Um, yes, several, like pretty much all the previous videos after the um, first DaVinci Resolve video I did, the best NLE on Linux video, I did do all. Of, I did edit all of them with Resolve. Yes, including that um, Smash Bros. Machinima. Even though that would have that was more complex editing, I still did that in Resolve because I'm insane. So, yeah, it worked. It worked out, despite not being able to hear anything, unless I, I, did, a, I did a lot of low-quality render previews. It was tedious and not as efficient as it could have been, but god damn it, it, it I'm stubborn. Anyway, for the foreseeable future, that's not going to be an option. So, yeah, um, that all being said, the AMD car that I'm currently running, it's an RX 570. Now... I know a lot of you, when I said 980 Ti replacement, you were probably expecting something like an RX Vega, which that would be fantastic someday, or maybe whatever follows Vega, but um, at this time, with the latest stable releases of the Linux kernel and whatnot, we don't have display, um, display outputs on Vega just yet, or the upcoming Raven Ridge stuff that's coming with Linux kernel 4.15. We're still waiting for 4.14 to release fully, which that should actually be soon. So 15, I think the expected time is going to be in January, so that's kind of a ways off. Otherwise, I would have indeed gone for a Vega card. But, um, yeah, so 570 might seem a little odd. You might, some of you might think, why not at least go for a 580 if you want to go AMD so bad? So, another thing many of you in the PC space probably know about is ethereum miners they've they've been buying out gpus like crazy driven the prices up and i i, I think i've heard that's kind of dying down a little but the prices are still kind of up but at the time they weren't so um when i got this 570 it just happened to be <clears throat> like at just a little over 200 bucks so that's still quite a bit above msrp but not nearly as bad as we've been seeing so i was like okay this is probably the best chance I'll have anytime soon to get an AMD card for a reasonably close to MSRP price. So I went for it, and now I can be all happy on the open source drivers here on Linux, which there are a number of benefits to that. Um, main one being, since the AMD drivers are just like built into the kernel and they're free and open source and stuff, they can be distributed however the fuck. They're just included by default on the distros that have those kernels pretty much, and especially with Solus, because they're awesome curated rolling release and stuff. I don't have to worry about installing drivers after I install the system. I'm basically good to go after I do the installation of the system, which, you know, for most people that aren't crazy like me, that's only going to be one time. But especially with Solus, because it just updates continuously, unlike something like Ubuntu. Anyway. So yeah. Um running an RX 570 instead of my 980 Ti. Now, I'm not going to say I don't have plans for the 980 Ti, because, I mean, it, it's a freaking 980 Ti. Of course, I don't want to just completely abandon it. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, no, I'm not doing a giveaway, because, um, hold that thought. Uh, right. Um, minor reason for wanting to replace it. Remember, if you guys remember from the build video, for those who watched that, how I was like, I had to replace the cooler on my 980 Ti because the pump died and it was a hybrid and stuff. I had to replace it with this, which, you know, from the front doesn't look terrible. 
but good god, this clashes with like everything in my case. I guess I could remove these decals, but at the same time, this cooler is massive, and like the card sagged so much, and again, like general issues with just having with well, like pre driver installation. There's issues in general with the um, open source NVIDIA drivers because they're not done by NVIDIA. They're, they've had to be reverse engineered by the community. So nothing against what the, what the um, open source people have done for the um, NVIDIA open source drivers. I don't even know how those are pronounced, like Nouveau or something. It's kind of weird. Anyway, nothing against those people. It's just with the situation they're in, they are n probably never going to be as good as the proprietary drivers for NVIDIA, and that makes things like testing distros and whatnot, and um, just overall things kind of more annoying. So it's not just the fact like, yay, free and open source drivers and stuff for why I went to AMD. It's also just things just tend to work better, honestly. Although also with AMD cards at the moment, we can't get HDMI audio out, but Linux kernel 4.15, it's coming soon. Things will be better. Anyway, that's it for that little rant. I th think that's pretty much all that's been changed. Um, in addition to my new NVMe SSD, I am also eventually going to get a uh, one terabyte, probably won't be NVMe because that would be fucking expensive, but just a regular N.2 SSD SATA. And that's gonna replace my. Um, I mean, technically, that's not gonna replace my games drive. Like, what I'm planning to do is, um, right now, my games drive is a one terabyte hard drive that's in an external enclosure because when I had it installed in the system, it rattled like a motherfucker. But um, so, see, I, I bet like towards the beginning, like the first half of this, you were like, "Whoa, is he actually gonna keep this clean for once?" No, sorry, um, I keep looking at the wrong camera. Honestly, I'm surprised this one's been staying on that long. Wait a minute. Oh. No, I'm not, because I'm switched to... I'm on the wrong thing. Because I did this. I wanted to be on this. That explains a lot. Wow. I feel very smart right now. Okay, because before when I was using this one, I had it um, just completely replacing my face cam. But now I just kind of have it back through my normal HDMI stuff. I have my scenes. It it, it 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 wasn't right with how I have my scenes normally in OBS. Well, that probably looked a little crappy. Sorry. Um, hello, back to good camera. What was I saying? Um, hold that thought. I'm kind of surprised this has gone this long without freezing up on me. Is the is the different USB slot helping? Because <sighs> if those have been to my streams, you would know. I've been having a lot of problems with it just freezing on me. It's been really annoying. All right, I completely lost my train of thought. R right, talking about the other SSD I'm going to get. I'm going to get a one terabyte M.2 drive, because um, currently I have my one terabyte hard drive that is in an external enclosure right now. I just want to eventually just get rid of that completely. Well, and I'll still have it around, but either way, um, I'm going to do that because most of my NAS storage and stuff, I have a NAS for that. I need to upgrade said NAS with some more storage very soon, but I do have that for, like, mass storage of stuff, so as far as on my system, I'm trying to go all pure SSD, because that's going to be nice and quiet, don't have to worry about a hard drive spinning up all the time, and it's going to be fast, so that's going to be great. I'm not fully decided if... Um, so right now I have my 500 gigabyte SSD in there, that's the one I've been using, which was previously my, also my OS drive, but now my new NVMe SSD is that, and then that one right now is containing all my video project files and stuff, so like all the footage, all the exports, all that sort of thing. Um, and the one terabyte hard drive is currently my games drive. So once I get the one terabyte SSD, what my plan is to make the one terabyte SSD the new like projects drive, because I feel like that might be a better way to go about it because then I can record higher quality stuff and it just might work out better a little bit. But at the same time, since I can't be using Resolve anyway, I might not need that much space. But then in the future, because like, it's like with Resolve, by the way, this is going to be really rambly for the rest of this. So if you're already bored, you're not going to miss anything important unless you're really into the little details of what I'm trying to do. So, um, 
yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're already bored at this point, you're going to keep watching. I'm going to keep rambling about stuff. So um, feel free to stay until the end. If you do, you get a cookie. Anyway, um, oh, brain fart. Uh, right, because with Resolve, it only accepts certain input import formats, and I have been doing a pro -re like low like the lowest quality ProRes, which still looks great. It's like yeah, it's literally called ProRes Proxy, and it still looks great. Like that's what I had been doing, like converting to that, then editing in Resolve, which actually by that logic that still works nicely in Caden Live. But then I also figured out with Caden Live how to get the proxy options working for that so I don't really need to do that anymore it's complicated anyway um, what I was thinking was I'm gonna turn convert the 500 gigabytes regular SSD I already have into my games drive and then make the one terabyte new SSD once I get that into my projects drive cuz I don't know it, it, it like I think it'd just be more convenient to have just leave the more stuff sitting on the one terabyte drive longer cuz like with games I mean I'm not gonna play that many games all at the same time so i don't need a terabyte of storage for my games while it's nice i don't really need that but i don't know it's it's, it's all a work in progress it's just things i'm considering i think i am going to go that route but if you guys have any suggestions feel free to say whatever we'll see how things go from there anyway i think that's finally about it for this one i probably should have saved that pseudo outro for now oh well Anyway, that's going to be it for this one, dudes. So if you guys like this, make sure to like and start subscribing. All that good stuff. Till next time, this has been Axel. I'll see you dudes in the next one.